Hey, remote professionals, welcome back. Before we get started, we're an online job board. We hi highlight remote and hybrid jobs around the globe. So if you don't see a job that we cover, definitely subscribe for future notifications. And keep in mind, we don't make videos for every single job that gets posted. Um, so you can just head straight to our job board, remoteprofessionalnetwork.com, and check out other openings. Today, we have a bunch of new jobs that we're going to cover. A uh, decent amount of them are actually going to be global opportunities, so you'll be able to work from anywhere. And then we have a couple of other ones that are uh, pr relatively high paying. So stick around to the end. Do us a favor, like the video, subscribe for notifications, and let's go ahead and get started. With and the first job is going to be a product manager. It's going to be part time. This is going to be a contract position. And this one will let you work from anywhere, guys. This specific posting is for Europe and Africa, but there is also a posting uh, for the Americas as well. So if you follow this link, you should be able to find that as well. So this one, again, is going to be with Edgar. It's an app that stops social media that stops social media updates from going to waste. Entrepreneurs love Edgar. All right, so Vite is one of the amazing SaaS products in the SureSwift portfolio. Vite is a customizable hiring tool that streamlines reference checking and candidate feedback, giving recruiters and business leaders the ability to find the perfect candidate easily. As far as what you're going to do in this position, you're going to become an expert on the Vite product, including core web app, integrations, user experience, flows, competitors and customers, industry and other internal tools like WordPress, HubSpot, GTM. You're also gonna work alongside the general manager developing the product strategy and roadmap. You're going to translate product strategy into requirements, epics, user stories, tasks and wireframes. You're gonna work with the engineering team to groom user stories. You're going to oversee delivery cycles to ensure the story reaches the team's definition of done you know, or complete. You're also going to prioritize backlog sprints based on the product strategy, ROI, also known as return on investment, and the customer impact. You're also going to oversee product launches, updates and review promotional plans in conjunction with the marketing manager and customer success manager as well. You're going to work directly with customers, scoping, liaising, and ma managing custom paid for development projects. You're also going to influence without authority, stakeholders in development, customer success, business development, and marketing as well. As far as your experience, keep in mind guys, this goes for almost every job out there. If you don't check off all the qualifications, but you still think you'd be a great fit, they still want you to apply. You might actually come into a job and have a different uh, skill set too guys that they realize that, they, that you know the hiring manager does want and you can land a job that way too. Uh, definitely try to check off some of the exp some of the boxes that they're looking for. But you know, if you're thinking about applying and you see the requirements, you think it's a little bit of a stretch, still throw your hat in the ring. Um, if you can get an interview, that'll be a great opportunity for you. All right, so what they want from you here, ideally they want you to have experience working as a product manager in a B2B software company growing revenue. Just uh, for the folks out there that don't know, B2B means business to business. Right, typically you have B2C, which is business to consumer, and then you have B2B, which is business to business. So in this company, you're mostly working with other businesses. All right, so they also might have experience working directly with B2B customers, scoping and delivering custom projects. They'd like you to have technical knowledge and the ability to discuss web apps with the engineering team. They also want you to have Scrum product owner and Jira experience, experience with HubSpot, GTM, and GA4 and also data analysis and advanced Excel skills on top of that. Your compensation, this one's gonna vary guys. Typically when you go out to these uh, work from anywhere jobs guys, the pay range is going to vary pretty greatly. Typically the jobs will not post um, what the pay is gonna be just because the location can uh, you know, be altered pretty drastically. So keep that in mind. This job is a remote work, home from, uh, work from home position that's gonna be 20 to 30 hours per week with a preference for candidates based out of the East Coast of Americas or UK or Ireland. Don't worry about this, guys. This You can work from anywhere in this position. So they do have a preference for this area. But typically, guys, if you're at most hiring managers out there, if they find a candidate that they like that is outside of this preferred area, um, they're going to hire you. All right, so keep that in mind when you apply to this position. And let's go ahead and check out the next job. This next job opening is going to be a compliance assistant with Birch Gold. This position is going to be a full-time remote job in the United States. That's going to pay 18 to $21 per hour. In this position, you're going to assist the compliance manager and ensure that the sales department are following company policies and procedures. You're going to monitor the sales team's telephone conversations to ensure that federal, state, and company compliance 
uh, rules and, and things are met like that. You're going to assist the compliance manager with the daily operation of the compliance program. You're also going to correspond to alleged violations of rules, regulations, policies, and procedures. You're going to act as an own independent review and evaluation body to ensure that compliance issues and concerns within the organization are evaluated, investigated, and resolved. And there are going to be a few other duties as well. In this one, guys, you're going to, they want you to have a strong organizational and prioritization skills, strong written and verbal communication skills, strong follow-up and communication skills. Also, they'd like you to type 80 words per minute. Typically, guys, when they do 80 words per minute, that's going to be the bare minimum. There are probably going to be a decent amount of folks that come in a little bit higher than that. And feel free, we have a little typing test up here. It's not super complex or anything, but if you want to go ahead and test that out, see if you can get to 80 words per minute, it's free, and it's just a little uh, test you can do. Put that in your resume, see if you can get to 80 words per minute at least. Ideally, if you can get to like 85 to 90, that's probably going to be a better uh, result for you. Benefits, they're going to offer you medical, dental, vision, 401k. PTO, they're going to give you one week paid annually, paid holidays, and also an annualized performance bonus. And this is a work from home job as well. All right, let's go ahead and check out the next job opening. This next job is going to be with United Health Group. It's going to be a provider customer service team lead, nationally remote, which means you can work from anywhere inside the United States. You're going to have a full time position, so you can expect benefits. 401k, uh, health insurance, dental, medical, etc. United Health Group does also offer an employee stock purchase plan. I believe it's about 15% off of the stock at certain points of the year. So you can also benefit from that as well. And keep in mind, guys, bigger companies tend to have more opportunities just uh, for you to transfer out of. And also with these bigger companies, a lot of them, what they'll do is they have internal job boards and you can work some of these jobs for a year or two and then bounce out to uh, different positions, network within the company, and leverage that to your benefit as well. All right, so this one is going to be $18.80 per hour, up to $36.78 per hour. In this role, you're going to work 40 hours per week. It's going to be a solid Monday through Friday. Employees are going to be required to have the flexibility to work any of the eight-hour shifts between 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. Central Time. So again, you're not going to work all those hours. You just have to be able to work eight hours in between those uh, time frames. And again, they do need you to have the uh, open schedule to work overtime as well. All right, the team lead is going to be accountable to meet the performance goals established for advocate roles in the areas of efficiency, call quality, customer satisfaction, first call resolution, and attrition. With guidance and direction from a supervisor, you're going to achieve those goals as well. So you're going to be helping basically a, kind of like an assistant manager to the actual supervisor guys. It's kind of how you can think of team leads um, in most cases. Primary responsibilities, you're going to act as a resource to other advocates and may coordinate daily, weekly, monthly activities uh, of, the team of the team members. You're going to provide on-the-job training to other advocates. You're going to manage caller conversations appropriately, provide a good first impression, command attention and respect, maintain a professional tone, etc. You're also going to maintain focus on caller interactions without being distracted by other factors. You're going to drive resolution of caller questions, issues on the first call whenever possible first call resolution. All right, you're also going to ensure proper documentation of caller questions. You're going to act as a facilitator to resolve conflicts on the team and be seen as a key team member on a project that might span across more than one team. You're going to main, maintain proficiency in all technical applications, assist the supervisor in supporting priorities for the team. You're going to assist the supervisor in monitoring employee and team performance. You're also going to support the supervisor in leading and hosting meetings if they're unable to attend, so you'll take their place. And a few other things down here, guys. As far as the required qualifications go, you're going to need a high school diploma, a GED, or higher. Two years of experience in an advocate role with Buffalo Care Intake Experience. Previous experience mentoring and or training others. Experience in provider tools, benef benefit interpretation, detailed benefits, claim support experience with personal computers and PC applications like Microsoft Excel, Word, and PowerPoint, and the ability to actually work the shift. All right, so that's going to do for that one, guys. Let's go ahead and check out this next job opening that we have. Next job, guys, is going to be a software engineer specializing in the back end with Python. It's going to be 100% remote. For this one, you can live in Europe or Africa, and they also have a job posting for folks in the United States with the same position. It's just going to be specifically for folks in the United States. So feel free to check that out as well. In this position, guys, at close, they're 
they're building the sales communication platform of the future with their roots as the very first sales CRM uh, to include built-in calling. They're leading the industry towards eliminating manual processes. So as far as this goes, guys, in this paragraph, they pretty much list all the uh, actual tools that you're going to be using as a software engineer in this position. So feel free to read through that. It breaks down their tech stack and things like that. And about you, they're looking for a high-achieving high full-time software engineer to join the engineering team. And as you can see here, multiple software engineers. So it looks like they're hiring multiple people, guys. Uh, someone who has interest in and a good understanding of web tech and wants to help design and implement and launch and scale major systems and especially user-facing features. They want you to be comfortable working in a fast-paced environment with a small and talented team where you're supported in your efforts to grow professionally. They want you to manage your time well uh, on top of that too, guys. It sounds like they're not going to be um, you know, breathing down your neck and micromanaging. They want somebody who's going to be able to work independently um, and kind of find things to do themselves. They're not always having to be managed. Requirements. They want senior, the, uh, as far as senior staff level candidates, they should have five years of experience building modern backend systems. Mid-level candidates should have three years of similar experience and be eager to level up with the right opportunity. Python is going to be preferred, but experience in other languages is acceptable if you have a desire to work with Python. So basically, if you don't know Python, but you you know you want to learn Python, you will learn Python. Um, that's going to be um, pretty beneficial. So if you don't know it yet, it sounds like you're going to learn it. Right, they want you to have hands-on production experience working with MongoDB and a few other things. They also want you to have experience designing, scaling, debugging, and optimizing systems to make them fast and reliable. They want you to have participated in code reviews and provided overall code quality suggestions. They want you to care about your craftsmanship and they want you to be located in the American or European time zone. Keep in mind, guys, this one, this job specifically says or Africa. Uh, so if you're located in Africa, you qualify for that position as well. And if you're a U.S. candidate, go ahead and uh, click on this so that you can get to their other job posting. Bonus points if you contributed to open source code related to their tech stack. That's going to be great. Uh, if you've led small project teams building and launching features, built B2B SaaS, pro uh, SaaS products, and so on, that's going to be great. And they also have some great benefits here too, guys. 100% uh, remote company. Like we said, they're remote first. You can also choose between working five days per week, standard full time or four days per week at 80% of the pay. They have annual team retreats, quarterly virtual summits, five weeks of PTO, two additional PTO days every year with the company, one month paid sabbatical every five years, paid parental leave, medical dental vision, 401k match with at 6%, which is great. That's gonna be for US residents only. Not sure if they have retirement uh, plans for folks outside the US guys, but make sure that you qual uh, qualify that with your uh, recruiter if you get an interview. All right, let's move on to the next job. All right, this next job is going to be a service desk analyst level one. It's gonna be a fully remote job in the United States. And it looks like it's gonna pay almost $38,000 per year to 56,700 per year. In this position, guys, as far as the actual job goes, you're going to provide first line technical support to employees, credit unions, and vendors. The analyst ensures that the professional support and response standards are met and maintained. You're also going to assist customers with technical support questions regarding the issue status, you know, things like password resets, software issues, system and network status, change inquiries, and other related questions via telephone, chat, and service now. You're going to perform troubleshooting procedures and solve technical problems on computer hardware, uh, equipment, software, computer devices, components, network devices, and network connectivity. This includes, but it's not limited to Microsoft Windows, operating system, Mac OS, desktop, laptops, printers, servers, and so on. All right, essential functions. They'd like you to have experience with ServiceNow. They'd like you to have familiarity with major incident management, ITL, and IT service management. Technical proficiency with Microsoft, MAC, operating systems, and Microsoft Office Suite. Excellent application and software troubleshooting skills. They want you to demonstrate a high level of customer relationship skills to include professional telephone etiquette. They'd also like you to be able to communicate effectively, uh, you know, basically breaking down all levels of technology to users and leadership as well. So basically, if you're able to take something that seems complex or, you know, complicated and break it down to and, you know, kind of help people understand at various levels, it's going to be a great skill to have. All right, and as far as the position requirements, two years of providing IT technical support via uh, phone, chat, and or email. 
a high school diploma or equivalent. And it looks like some certifications here. And they also want you to be working, have the ability to work in a 24 seven environment, including second and third shifts. So obviously you're not going to work 24 seven. They just want you to be available um, at those times to work 24 seven as far as the shifts go. All right. And again, we can see the pay range here, 37,800 to 56,700. If you're more entry level, you're probably going to hit down here. And if you're maybe mid-level, have some other experience, you're going to uh, hit a little bit higher. And that looks like you may, might come down to certifications and a few other things as well. All right. And we go over here, the benefits, medical with telemedicine, no cost diabetes programs, dental and vision, basic and optional life insurance, company paid disability, 401k with employer match, HSAs, FSAs, legal plans, pet insurance. Well, wow, that's pretty cool. Pet insurance, adoption assistance plan, mental health and well-being mental health and well-being, uh, virtual mental support, tuition reimbursement, wellness programs, and a few other things as, uh, here as well. If you didn't like any of the jobs that we went over today, guys, feel free to check out this next video um, to learn more about some other jobs, or you can go ahead and click this link in the comment section. This will take you to all the jobs that we covered today, and you can explore and learn more about uh, some other jobs.